Hello. All right, you guys, I'm gonna get rolling. Um, I wanna introduce myself. Hi, my name's Arista Bogner. I am the creator of the Travel Roller. I'm a kinesiologist and a trainer, fitness model, and I actually have been injured. So when I was injured, when I was uh, about 15 years ago, just from overuse injury, and that's why I created the Travel Roller. And uh, basically the Travel Roller is a tool that's repaired my body and helped me create function again. And I'm gonna teach you guys how you can do that with your body. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me. There'll be a section where you can ask some questions. And um, yeah, we'll get rolling. Okay, so first thing is, uh, let's get your rollers out. We're gonna talk about, uh, well, what is fascia? So fascia is the interconnected webbing between our bones and muscles and it gives, it's the glue that gives you integrity. And this is what we're actually rolling when we are um, doing rolling and we're doing self myofascial release. So self myofascial release is the process of using guided tools like a roller and mobility balls to aid in flexibility, help you improve your function, your posture, and improve your performance and recovery. Now we've used this product on so many athletes and teams like Volleyball Canada, a lot of Olympians, Snowboard Canada, even LeBron James has rolled on the travel roller. So it's been around for 15 years and um, actually hand built about uh, 20,000 of them. Um, but this is the one you have here and you can pick it up at Penrun. And I just wanted to say thank you to Penrun for having me and today and good luck with everyone doing their virtual Run the Rock in White Rock, BC. So here we're going to get rolling. So if you have a ball out, please get your ball. We're going to talk about fascia here. So in the travel roller, you can store your acupressure balls inside and your stretching straps is super convenient for you. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a baseline test. So we're going to just test your flexibility and function to start. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a bend over reach test. So I just want to see your hamstring flexibility just to start. I have not done any rolling this morning, so I just wanna do a little test here. So if you have a ball, take out your ball. Tennis ball is not very firm, so, but you can give it a try. So you're just gonna roll one foot at a time. Okay, so we're gonna roll through our arch of the foot, in through our toes, our calves, and you just again wanna create some function and rolling through the fascia of the superficial back line of the feet. What I want to show to you is how fascia is amazing and how it is interconnected with your whole body. So again, rolling through that foot and the toes. Get really in there. We stand on our feet all day, we're moving around. You must take the time. If you can only do one thing all day long, roll your feet. No matter what you do, you'll feel more energized and you'll stand taller. All right. Okay, get in through the heel. All right, and we're gonna do this bend over reach test again. Okay, and take a deep breath and go in and immediately I have huge range of motion and flexibility increase just from rolling my feet. So you can just see how amazing fascia is that this is connected to our whole body. I didn't even roll the other side yet and I had huge length changes in just that one motion. Okay, let's do the other side. You always wanna do, um, make it symmetrical. So you wanna do both sides, but you can see how that there's a carryover onto the other side, which is amazing. Okay, feet, feels so good. And as you're rolling, you're looking for asymmetries, you're looking for tension, you're looking for tightness, you wanna, create more awareness in the body. Where is it tight? Where do you need to go back to? And how you can create your own foam rolling and mobility protocol. Okay, and the other side. All right, you guys, let's do the bent over reach test again. And instantly, feeling so much better. So what you really need to realize that there's a compound effect of myofascial release and foam rolling. The more you do, the more beneficial it's gonna be for your body over time. It's like getting 
thousands of little massages over a long period of time. If you guys are runners, you're putting a lot of stress and tension on the body and um, you need to put in that regeneration. You need to put in that mobility back, okay? All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, so that is the bottom of the feet. So, you know, when we talk about fascia, we can roll our muscles and we can roll our fascia. So as we're rolling our muscles, we are affecting the fascia and the fascial line. So the superficial back line runs from the bottom of your feet, through your calves, hamstrings, glutes, back, and connects all the way around to your head. So as you're affecting your foot, you're affecting the fascia of your neck. It's all connected. So that's why the more you can do, the better. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is work on your technique. So, um, you know, if you have a larger foam roller like this, it's not gonna be as specific. So that's why I created the travel roller to be very specific, to give a deep therapeutic massage, and it has a minimal amount of foam. foam. So it's very similar to the density of your fingertips and your, your palms or your elbows of a therapist. All right, so what we're gonna do is gonna get on the roller. If you're a runner, you know, you get tight calves, tight tibialis anterior, and we are going to do a few techniques. So the first thing you guys always see is the compression. Okay, so compression is, um, is fantastic to create circulation in the body. But if you want deep, lasting change, you're gonna do these three techniques, okay? The first one is compression. So you're just gonna be rolling back and forth like this. And as you're doing this, you're bracing your core, creating good stability in your shoulders, and you're gonna be maneuvering around and strengthening your body and core in these positions, okay? As you're moving around on the roller. And that's why rolling is more beneficial than using a little stick or massage gun because it's dynamic exercise that is engaging you holistically, okay? Okay, so we're gonna be rolling back and forth using compression is the first technique, and the second one is shear. So the travel roller is really grippy. It's really grippy and you're going to be doing shear. So you're going to be sliding the top layers of the skin of the surface and you're applying compression. If you want, you can add another limb on top to create more force into the roller. So again, we're rolling back and forth like this. And then shearing is just a rocking side to side action. Now to create a more advanced, you're gonna apply a torque. So that's just a movement or a range of motion of the limb. Hope you guys can see that. So I'm just doing a little ankle circle there. So as you do it, it's gonna look like this. All right, like this. Now we're gonna show you a little bit of comparison here. So you have a traditional roller. This typically is not as grippy as you would receive from the travel roller. It's that grip of that skin. Now I have a cool thing for you guys. So I have a little bit of Play-Doh here and I'm gonna show you the surface of what it's gonna create some circulation in your body. So this awesome texture is creating nice perforations and circulation on the top layers of your skin. Now this is gonna help aid in recovery and regeneration. We always want to roll from the feet towards the heart because we're affecting the lymph system and uh, the blood. So we're always rolling for our calves and all the way towards our hearts. That's what I recommend. Okay, so try these techniques, compression, shear and torque. It's a rocking and rolling style. Okay, adding in more. It can get really in there. If it hurts, then you guys are probably really, really tight. <laughs> okay. So I was having some connection issues there. Hope you guys can all, if you ever feel like you guys can't uh, get a losing connection, sorry about that. All right, you guys, we're rolling. And we can do this on all areas of the body. So you can do this on your tibialis anterior, your glutes, your shoulders. Um, but as a runner, you're putting a lot of load and a lot of miles on those feet and that tibialis anterior. And it might be 
um, inhibited and tight. So you can go onto the side of the tibialis anterior like this and do the same thing. And it's that almost that ripping and gripping feeling that of the fascia. You can do it in this position as well. Again, you're bridging and you're using your core and your shoulders in here. Let's see if you can get a good angle there. So we're not rolling the bone, we're rolling the muscles. Just like this. And again, if you want more pressure, put full body weight on. This is a bit more advanced. And you can shear that skin. Now when I talk about the shearing of the skin, we are trying to create function in the system again. We're trying to restore function. This is what foam rolling does. It restores function to weak or inhibited areas of the body. So another area that you might be inhibited would be your glutes. So as you're running, you need to have stable hips. So as you're striding, you have stability in your hips, but they may feel like they're weak because they're inhibited. So get on your roller, let's get into the glutes, and body position, again, is bridging your core and your elbows, your shoulders. You can be in a relaxed position like this as well. And again, we're just gonna be rolling the outside of the, the glutes like this, back and forth. You kinda wanna take a segmented approach. So you'll be rolling it five times. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Rolling to the middle of the glutes and the glute maximus. One, two, three, four, five. Whatever works for you, you're trying to create your own foam rolling protocol. You can do it in a circular action. And what we're trying to do is restore function to this area. And it can be immediate, right? So you are created an inhibition because your body is protecting itself so that your spine doesn't get injured and you will immediately feel function return when you do this. Okay, so if you're feeling like your piriformis is really tight here, um, should you work on an area that's tight? Yes, you should. The faster that you can restore function to this area, the better you're gonna feel. Okay, if it's really painful, please again, consult your physiotherapist or chiropractor if you need more information or you have a specific injury, but if you're just doing general stuff, it's super beneficial. All right, you guys can take a, a ball, if you have your ball out, we can get into the piriformis as well. Just stick that right in the glutes there. You can do a little wiggle. Okay, so you find that spot, that trigger point area, and you always wanna relax into it. I'm going kind of fast here, because I'm trying to cover a lot of areas, um, but just relax and take a deep breath, okay? Okay, so we're just rolling that area. We can also, if your ball is soft, it's a little bit better on the piriformis. Um, if it's hard, it might get, it's gonna be really intense. So we can get into the piriformis this way. And as you're rocking this way, remember, as we're creating this compression and shear and torque, we're changing the range of motion. You're really gonna get into those deeper layers of fascia. Oh yeah, that feels so good. <laughs> you guys feeling that? Okay, we're gonna quickly move on to the other side. And again, get into those glutes. So if you could roll just a few areas of the body, um, your feet, your calves, your glutes, and next one we're gonna get into our quads, which probably will hurt so much because you guys are probably so over-trained and under-regenerated. If you're just sitting at a desk all day long, we create dysfunction just by sitting. It's called sitting disease, lower cross syndrome, tight quads and hip flexors and weak core and weak glutes. And foam rolling is an excellent way of unwinding this, whether you're a runner, a walker, or you just try to create um, a healthy body. Okay. All right, so again, do your whatever you wanna do here. You can get low. We can relax. So I'm moving quickly through this because I'm pretending I'm gonna go out for a run right now. So you can do quick 
um, activations before you go out for a run, you should be doing some type of rolling um, to create function. Okay, into the muscle. Okay, getting into the big part of the glute. We want to get short, quick strokes so you can get deep. Okay, so the, the problem with a big roller is you're not getting deep. And you're not, you really can't, you, as the surface area gets bigger, you're really not getting specific. And that's why specific foam rolling is high performance foam rolling. Because really, we don't have time to be rolling all day long. But if you can get in a few minutes, five, 10 minutes um, before a run or before you go to bed, it really will be a huge compound effect on your body. Okay. Okay, rolling through the glutes. And again, you can add through the balls. You can change up the density too. We have some harder balls, softer balls. I like the TR Ball Pro on my glutes. It is the perfect density ball. And again, you can do many things like this. You can put this ball in your car or at your desk when you're sitting as well. Just be careful about if you have any sciatic nerve issues. Just want to be very careful with that. Are you guys doing good? All right. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is, um, I'm pretty much it's specific to what works for your body. So we did the feet, tibialis anterior, calves, glutes, you can work the hamstrings. Um, I personally like to go roll through the back, um, but we're gonna skip that. We're gonna go right to the quads where you guys need it the most because we wanna have stable, stable hips as you're running and we want to have to remove the inhibition and if the quads are too tight it's going to be pulling and we need to create correct and balance out the hips okay so on to the quads this is where everyone is always crying and saying oh this hurts so much so again we're doing our core and our planking and we are rolling doing compression and we're gonna do a wiggle action, side to side. Okay, side to side, and are you guys ready for it? Torque, oh yeah. And you can bend your hips forward and back, and you can do some rocking. Don't forget that shear. See how it's grabbing my skin. Remember, as a therapist comes in, it's gonna not just be doing compression, they're gonna be doing ART on you, compression, shear, and torque. And this is how we're gonna get that deeper, lasting change to restore function to your body, okay? Okay, and you can hit into the hip flexors. I like to do a little upward dog, open up my front fascial line. All right, you guys, should we be rolling our IT band? Should we be doing this? The answer is no. We do not want to be rolling our IT band. Okay? It is not <laughs> good because it will get tighter. And we always recommend figure out why is your IT band tight. Go to a, a skilled therapist, a trainer, and figure out why it's tight. And when in doubt, roll your quads. So um, when I first created the travel roller, I could not run or bike because my IT band was so tight. It just was like this whipping action. It was so horrible. But I rolled on the travel roller for 30 minutes a day for six months and it completely fixed me. Did I roll my IT band? No, but I rolled my quads because I have very big <laughs> quads from tennis, from some skiing and sprinting. And uh, we need to unwind and put in the work to get to those dense layers. So if you guys are um, if you guys are asking questions right now, uh, yes, there will be a recording, um, but we'll do a question where you can ask questions or ask questions later because I can't really see what's up there, okay? All right, so again, rolling in here and making sure that you are relaxing into your roller. I have created an even firmer roller to get even deeper into the quads. This is the traveler 
3.8, which sometimes I like to go use on my quads because they are just so dense. So if you're a man and you have lots of muscle or you just can't really feel this, I mean, I've been rolling for 15 years, so for me, I need to get a little bit deeper, okay? All right, so that's for me. I'd like to do that. Some people on this, they actually roll down onto the pipe. So I've also created it for athletes. And you can take off your sleeve and you can roll on the pipe if you really want to. <laughs> All right, like that. Now, when I first created the travel roller, I was given a pipe to roll on. And I said, I'm not rolling on a pipe, make it softer. And that's how the travel roller was invented. Um, there was no other mobility tools out there. Um, the idea of the balls and everything was because people were so overtrained and under, under regenerated. They really didn't understand that if you wanted to be at a high performance level, you need to put in the work. Um, most athletes have a massage therapist on their team uh, on hand. And we as average people, we don't have the time or the money to go get a massage every day. But with the travel roller, um, you can. You can do a massage every day and that will really add up to your entire well-being of your body, okay? So you can use the pipe on the quads. I like to get deep on there. You really don't need all these fancy tools like will a stick get into your quads. Again, surface rolling, that's just, for creating blood flow. But if you want to create function and change, you really need deep therapeutic self myofascial release, okay? All right, so we, we did our feet, we did our calves, our tibialis anterior, did our glutes and piriformis, quads and hip flexors. You could spend so much time on your quads. Honestly, my quads were so thick. When I first did the traveler, I went to a chiropractor and he said, you need a sledgehammer to get through to these quads. That's how bad they were. My posture at one point was like this, giant quads and totally buckled. <laughs> so unwinding your body is possible, creating function and mobility, flexibility, it will help you so much throughout your lifetime. And uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed um, this section, um, I'm gonna do a few techniques. So the first thing, if you want to roll pre-training, you wanna do it to be fast. So it's gonna be three to 10 minutes of a very dynamic warm-up to create activation. We're activating our loose pack connective tissue, just like the surface rolling and we're desensitizing everything. And uh, we're just doing some mobility, getting our core working. And then there's gonna be a regeneration component. So this is the longer duration, 10 to 45 minutes of work. If you wanna put in that time, I recommend that before bed. Um, you can just be laying on the roller. Um, you could be watching TV. It's just putting in that effort where you're, you could be texting, you could be typing or reading a book, putting in that time to change the tissues and it, it will take time to remodel the fascial system. All right. Okay, do you guys have any questions for me? Anybody? Okay, if anyone has any questions, just ask them now. I'm gonna just show you guys and you can follow along. I'm gonna just do a quick rolling session like this. So I'm just gonna go back to the beginning, pretending like I'm just gonna go up for a run. So I'm gonna just do a check. I'm checking my tissues, making sure there's no knots. I'm creating an activation, improving my circulation, and I'm engaging my core. I'm getting warmed up. Okay, I'm getting ready to run. Okay, you can get through the hamstrings. You can get through the glutes. This is gonna be a very fast technique. I'm gonna roll through my back now, okay? So for the lower back, you the travel roller is very firm. You do not wanna roll through the middle of the back. You want to be planting and rolling one erector spinae muscle at a time, okay? So we're gonna be like this, and we wanna get up to the other side. You're gonna get up and reposition like that. Okay, so for the first time, we're gonna be in here, and then we're gonna roll into a thoracic extension, okay? 
Okay, thoracic extension is gonna be like this. Traveler is very firm. You might get a little cracks out of your back. I do the upper back every single day. It is my lifesaver. You can breathe into it. And again, we're doing this torque. And if you wanna do thoracic extension, deep breath in, open up your chest, give you a chin tuck, and reposition the roller, and back down. Restoring the natural curvature of the spine. Okay, let's see if there's any questions here. All right, what do you recommend for tightness around the ankles? Okay, okay, so tightness around the ankles, again, okay, so I have lots of history with the ankles and tibialis and tibia. I had compartment syndrome, it was so tight. Uh, in this area here, you can get um, an area that's called hypoxia, where you're lacking oxygen. It gets really tight, and there's knots in here. And so, again, getting onto the tibialis interior, if the ankles are tight, the muscles surrounding it are probably tight as well. So again, in through the tibialis interior, that shearing action is so amazing. You can even get in there with the balls, okay? You can get in there, I remember spending a lot of time in front of the TV just doing this. So this is that regeneration component where you have dysfunction, you're going to create um, more oxygen in the tissues and you're going to remodel this fascia. And it's going to take some time, but every day you're going to feel better, okay? So again, rocking through there, again, you can still do this range of motion, shearing, but the roller is very effective because you're getting a lot of surface area at once, okay? And the balls are, little, are deeper, but you're not gonna do as much as quick, okay? So in here, and then calves. Again, you can get into the calves. Again, just putting in more pressure, getting deeper. If you, as you put your body up, you're putting more weight on the roller. If it's too much, you could just go hang out on a coffee table, right, like this, and you could just be doing this rocking like that, okay? And then if your ankles feel like they're, they're weak, then we need to add stability exercises. So again, it goes back to your strength training program with, as you mobilize, you need to stabilize. So it's, you know, if you need to go see a strength coach or figure out to get stable, because there's an alternating pattern of mobility and stability in your body, you need both to have a functional system, okay? Hope that answers your questions. Okay, thanks for great primer on the rolling, lots of tips to improve my rolling technique. Okay, thank you, I'm glad you guys liked that. If you have any more questions, let me know. All right, so I was rolling quickly through my body. I got to my my shoulders, or so my, my upper back, but then I didn't get to my neck yet. So, so I was doing this, and then I always go into my neck like this. Now this is a really great restorative position to kind of reset your nervous system before you go to bed. This is a wonderful one. It, the travel lure is 4.3 inches in diameter, so it fits perfectly ergonomically in your cervical vertebrae of your spot of your neck. So you can do these gentle nose side to side like this. And you can actually feel the massage happening all through your neck. If you guys are having any tension headaches because of stress in your upper traps, remember the fascial system wraps around your neck to the top of your head. You can also massage the front of your forehead while doing this. This will create a great effect on the body. You can do side to side, repositioning the roller into the skull. And you can actually feel the tension through your skull. All right, so you can do through that. You can get through the shoulders. I'm not gonna really hit up the shoulders because we're already almost at 12.30 here. Um, so you can get through the shoulders. It works the entire body. And um, if you guys want to pick up a travel roller um, or we have the kits or the balls, they're available at Peninsula Runners. They have everything in stock. They have the small balls. And, um, or you can check out some of the YouTube videos on my YouTube channel at Travel Roller. And uh, my website is travelroller.com. 
If you guys did want more information, just send me a message. I'd love to help you guys out and uh, hope that helps. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know and uh, get rolling because it really, really helps your body if you're a runner, walking, and you just wanna, even if you're just working out or just being healthy, this is a lifelong journey. Our fascial system is always gonna get tight because we're sitting in a desk, we're watching, we're texting, so you need to put in the work, you put the balls in your shoulders, and uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed that, and I'd love to do this again. So take care, and uh, hope that helped you guys. Bye.